Static Selecta. I think I was 17 or 18, working at Underworld Skate Shop in Vancouver. I'm gripping boards, lacing up shoes. I hadn't really heard too much about Supra, and then all of a sudden it was like Chad Muska, Tom Penny, Ellington, they're coming into town. Keeping with typical Vancouver fashion, poured rain during the demo. And of course, Muska skates the entire time, boards soaking wet, doesn't care, skating the rails, flipping his board, doing everything, you know? It was fucking nuts. We ended up going out skating a couple days after and showing them around. And I felt like that was kind of like a little test or trial. Got a couple tricks that I was stoked on that day, which I think probably played a large role in the grand scheme of things. After the team had left, my communication with the team manager started to pick up a bit. Just sending him footage, sending him photos whenever I had something new. Eventually came and stayed at his house and just got as much footage as I could. And if there was a signing, I'd go. If there was a demo, I'd go. I started started being included in all the happenings. For a kid from Canada, I'm just like over the top, you know, like getting to not only meet a bunch of people that you've always looked up to and always watched in videos, but now you're like alongside them, you know? I was shooting a photo one day with a photographer in Vancouver. I ended up getting a free clip that I really liked and and eventually that became my first super ad, which was a huge honor. Like, when you first see the actual print ad, you're looking at all your hard work kind of paying off, you know? It really kind of solidified that I was no longer Flo and that I'm now really a part of the team and a part of Supra. Felt like it had all come full circle, being that kid who was just watching these guys at a demo and now I'm on the same team as them. I was over the moon. <laughs>